We wanted to find out what was really happening at our border bridges. We investigated and found gaps in security that were easy to see. Four international bridges connect Cameron County with Mexico. Thousands of people cross them each day. They act as a portal of trade with the south. They stand as a barrier for crime heading north. As the sun sets and night falls over Brownsville, these bridges change the way they operate. All the bridges are exposed in Brownsville because we have no canine coverage. This retired CBP officer asked to remain anonymous. He wants to protect the officers who confide in him. It's been approximately one year now since the uh, Port of Brownsville did away with the midnight canines working. This 20-year veteran customs officer tells us the highly trained senses of federal detector dogs are not used overnight. That makes the country vulnerable. Is this the first time that you've ever heard of not having dogs on the midnight shift? Yes, yes. In my entire time of the service, uh, this was the first time ever. It makes no sense not to have your, one of your best deterrents out there. We went to take a look. We wanted to know if his claims were true. We checked each of the four bridges over the course of three weeks. Only two bridges stay open after midnight. The Gateway and BNM bridges operate 24 hours a day. We saw one K-19 two times at Gateway International, none after 11 o'clock at night. No animal detector was seen at either bridge during the midnight shift. The drivers who passed through those bridges say they didn't see them either. They didn't use any dogs at all? No. And you didn't see any dogs in there? No. You didn't see any dogs? No. No. No dogs? No. No, no. The canines? No, we didn't see any. Not right now. This retired officer says this lapse in coverage leaves not just a gap in service, it leaves a gap in security. Let's just be blunt. There are holes. There are holes. No two ways about it. We're not doing anything to deter or much less apprehend the potential traffic or terrorists. The canines are trained to find drugs, money, ammunition, weapons, and people all illegally crossing our border with Mexico. It's like go, you're going to work me, you know, as a police officer and not taking your gun. Marty Bielma with the RGV Canine Training Center tells us a dog's nose works differently than a human's. Take chicken soup, for example. Humans smell one scent. A dog in that case can smell the salary, the chicken, the potatoes, the spices. He says they smell each ingredient separately. That makes them near perfect to counteract a smuggler's attempt to hide contraband. They try to mask those odors with grease, with coffee, with mustard, with anything that they can imagine thinking that that's going to deter the dog from smelling the train odor and it doesn't work. We learned the CBP port director for Brownsville, Petra Horn, is in charge of schedules. While she did sit down with us, she would not directly tell us whether or not canines work during the midnight shift. I am very confident that I have assessed our port of entry and are, and are deploying to ensure that we have the right coverage wherever we need it. The bridges have scanning machines and detection technology worth millions. Narcotic trappers, they don't fear technology, they fear the dog. The retired CBP officer calls that technology second only to the senses of a highly trained canine. I've actually seen firsthand where the dog is able to detect, detect narcotics within the parameter of an engine where technology will tell you that there's nothing there. He says the cartels know how to use this gap in security. They already know the best time to come in is at night. Are people who live in the valley in a greater danger because these canines are not being used on the midnight? Yes, shift? yes, they really are, they really are. The port director disagrees. She tells us they use several tools to ward off smuggling. We take a risk-based approach. We have multi-layer enforcement. By the light of day, Latin music fills the air in Brownsville. Two 24-hour bridges operate as the front gates to downtown. Hundreds of people flood the streets, blending two countries at the border. By nightfall, these roads are quieter, darker. Under fluorescent lights, the lack of canines is easy to see. The security gap may not be visible, but according to officers we spoke with, it's just as real. We also asked CBP for the amount of drugs, money, weapons, and ammunition seized by canine units during the days that we observed those bridges. Months later, we are still waiting for a response. We'll continue to follow this developing story from our reporting in the studio. Shelley Childers, Channel 5 News at 10.